Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, and Tom Griswold. And now, here's Tom. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. There's Ace, there's Chick, I'm Tom, that's Josh. Through the glass that way is Christy Lee. Hey. She's in the Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom. Yes, sir. I go to the big screen. There's Pat Godwin over there. I go to the other big screen. We've got a substitute sitting in for Willie. It's uh, Reno Collier. Hey, Reno. Good morning, my friends. That's good to see you, sir. And then uh, to Reno's right, it's uh, it's from a different location. It's Jess Hooker in the stripes today. We're going to have to get those uh, pans mic'd so we can have a little uh, pan serenade next time. <laughs> okay, I'll, yeah, I'll so practice. We got somehow in some kind of a food jag, which leads us to this story, uh, Reno. This is kind of interesting. Um, we have two monkey stories here. Christy has one of them. Christy, go ahead. Supermarkets in the UK have agreed to stop selling products that contain coconuts that were picked by trained monkeys. Huh? According to people for the ethical <laughs> treatment of animals, our friends at PETA... Pigtailed macaques are taken from the wild in Thailand, trained to pick up to a thousand coconuts a day. Josh has this one. Aren't you an expert in those uh, monkeys? Uh, oh, macaque! Yeah, I know a lot about macaque. <laughs> you know a lot about you. Yeah. About you know a lot macaque. about. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've handled macaque before. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could uh, you could make a sculpture of it blindfolded. You know how they react. <laughs> <laughs> has a dent? What is it? A dent of your uh, thumb or what? Oh yeah, yeah, I can recognize mine. Yeah, it's yeah. so th- I didn't. This is this is face. legit. Yeah. In response, uh, Waitrose, Okada, Co-op, and Boots have announced that they will no longer sell products that contain monkey picked coconuts. How do they know? You know, but what what cooler sign approved by monkeys? These coca. I'd buy those coconuts. Why are they? How do we know the monkeys are being mistreated? Uh, I'm, you know, something, I don't know anything about this, but I'm guessing. <laughs> First of all, they, I, I don't know anything about it. I'm just guessing they're paid peanuts. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Do monkeys like peanuts? I don't, don't know. know. Uh, it's the only joke I can think of. On, <laughs> I thought it'd be, I mean, elephants. Elephants, I mean, yeah. elephants okay. pick the coconut or. Um, I don't know. And they're, pi- I didn't know they were, they were the, the pig-tailed macaques. Yeah, pig-tailed macaques. <laughs> Macaque. That's cute. I bet they look really cute. Do they put their hair up every day in little pigtails? I don't know. <laughs> um, are these the kind of are macaques the ones they use for organ grinders? No, those no, that's are uh, Reese's. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. Now th- I that's... think it's fantastic. Aren't macaques the one that steal toddlers in India? Did you see that Good video? Lord. Yeah, yeah, I love that. That, that, yeah. <laughs> that video was unbelievable. What this, did it do with the? It, well, here you go. Okay, Christy, here's a different story. Try to steal a story. toddler. From AFP, here's the story. Uh, headline, yeah. macaque monkey gangs taking over Thai city. Mm. It says, here's the story. Gangs of macaque. Is that, is that the... Macaques, yes. Macaque. Okay, sorry. If you're from Wisconsin. Yeah. yeah. Macaque. Macaque. Don't say it if you're from Boston. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you want to get some beer and hang out with macaque? <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. How about you? How about you now? Uh, okay. Uh, gangs of macaque monkeys have taken over Thai city. Rival monkey gang fights Uh-oh. have made going out nearly impossible for residents of Lop Buttery. Jets in the shop. L O P B U R I. The smell of the macaque's excrement has grown unbearable, according to locals. Ugh. They're trying to appease the primates with snacks, but that has only <laughs> exacerbated the issue. <laughs> As the supply of free junk food dwindled during the pandemic, the monkey's behavior has become more aggressive. Oh. The government of Thailand has relaunched a sterilization program in an effort to curb the monkey population. I have a question. Yeah. Yes. Are they out of bullets? Bullets! <laughs> so you don't want them picking coconuts, you just want them shot dead. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> huh. <laughs> This all started when we started shooting them into space. Yeah. They got cocky after that. <laughs> yeah. One guy got to go to space. He came back, told his story. The rest yeah. of the macaques yeah, got going, pissed yeah, off. These bad. macaques are so bad. The video I'm talking about, I think it was in India. This macaque is on a scooter. He rides the scooter down the street, grabs yeah. this two or three year old toddler girl, jumps off his scooter, grabs the little girl, and tries to steal her. Wow. <laughs> yeah. She so gets away. So like who got on the scooter? <laughs> yeah. Know. That's what I wanted to know. Who got him the scooter? Monkeys on scooter. Did you ever have your macaque on a scooter? <laughs> <laughs> wicked. 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 Macaques ridden a scooter. Uh, God. This is bizarre. 
bizarre. Yeah, they're amazing. They're amazing animals, I guess. Um, the, but this, I mean, there are literally rival gangs of these monkeys in this town in Thailand. Oh, weird. The, of course, they they should have had the headline for this should have been. Wait a minute, let me get see if I can get this right in my head. Uh, big macaque attack. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> macaque attack. Yeah, the uh, hamburglar stole everything. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. This was in Indonesia. I'm going to post this in case you're Indonesia. Seen it. Indonesia. Yeah. The, yeah. Um, here is a photograph of a woman on a motorcycle. It looks like a Lombretta or a Vespa, whatever. There we go. Being attacked by monkeys. <laughs> well, maybe the monkeys. Oh, I bet it. Maybe it's her cycle, you think? Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah. yeah. That yeah. They, they know. know. Yeah. The motorcycle. Okay. Yeah. So in any event, uh, no, doesn't no, have no. a white rat in. And monkey, yeah. monkey madness out there. What else have you got, Christy? <laughs> uh, well, nudists apparently have been having trouble adjusting to wearing face masks, according to the Wall Street Journal. <laughs> Cypress Cove Nudist Resort in Kissimmee, Florida, recently tweeted, "Quote: If you're wearing a face mask, are you really nude?" Oh. Nancy Greenhouse, who sits on the board at Solar <laughs> well, Recreation I League a lot in of folks Connecticut, nudist camp never look up high enough to see if they're there is a face. <laughs> yeah. My face is up here. Nancy Greenhouse, who sits on the board at Solar Recreation League in Connecticut, said there has been some pushback to mask requirements, adding that one person called the office to say, quote, they don't want to wear one because it would ruin their suntan. Nudist Bev Price in Arizona oh. complained, quote, yeah. one of the things nudists are known for is friendliness. How'd you like to talk to Bev Price? <laughs> Put a mask on and you can't share. I bet in her, she's a, a neighborhood association president <laughs> yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Hi, Bev Price. Look, your garbage cans were out. Oh, um, Jesus, I was walking good. around naked and I... All uh, evening. <laughs> I changed my name from Karen. If you put a mask on, you can't share your friendliness as easily. Yeah, Others are learning if, if to adapt. If you're naked in Arizona, ever been to Arizona in the summer? No, it's hot. If I don't go there. Yeah, you got to wear flip-flops. So does that count as being naked? Yeah, no kidding. Oh. If you're barefoot... Boy. Yeah, you, you can't walk to a pool in Arizona. <laughs> Others are learning to adapt. Florida nudist Mary Alice Green says, we enjoy the nudist lifestyle, but we're trying to be safe and cautious. There's, there's Here's one. how you determine yeah. whether or not. <laughs> Bev and Mary Alice. Uh, here they come. Oh, and they're all over 50, I bet. See, you could still find out if, being, if wearing a face mask still counts as being nude. Um, go into uh, like Kroger or yeah. your favorite grocery store and try streaking. Yeah. Yeah, see, exactly. Yeah. See with what no happens. mask on? Yeah, no, 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 with a mask on. Okay. I think you're still going to get nailed. Uh, if so. your genitals are out here, you're, <laughs> you're nude, yeah. essentially. Yeah. You can put a, a mask around your genitals, though. Keep yeah, you safe. can. Oh. Keep them safe. A macaque mask? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I call this guy the Lone Ranger. <laughs> that's him. And uh, would you like to meet Tonto? <laughs> I ho oh. silver, huh? Away. Uh, Christy, do we have another nudity <laughs> story. Yes, we do. News. An official in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, has been charged with indecent exposure after being accused of gardening in the nude. Harrisburg's finance director, Bruce Weber, has been spotted gardening while naked three times this month. Hmm. The most recent incident occurred last Friday when his neighbor took a photo of him bending over in his garden without any clothes on and posted that image to Facebook. Wow. If, if he's been caught three times, this guy's clearly doing it quite often. Yeah, she he, previously complained to police twice this year over Weber's nudity. Maybe he just likes to do it. Yeah, she right. does. Detectives yeah. investigating the claims also spoke to other neighbors who said they had seen Weber outside without wearing clothes. Charges eventually filed, allege the defendant knew or should have known that young children were in the vicinity and could have seen him. I had him logged as being naked from 5.57 last night until 6.30. Who are you, Gladys it's, Kravitz? It, it's okay until he, until he drops something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then, you, then you're getting you, Well, there's a ton of yells there. out, come pull out this carrot. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, I didn't mean the dirty way. <laughs> He's going to end up with more than just a green thumb. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, Winner. You ever see those this, the, the, <laughs> the, the, the plywood uh, thing of the lady bent over? Oh, oh sure, sure, yeah. yeah. Oh, Those hilarious. are hilarious. Yeah. Love them. Bloomers, yeah. yeah no painted with the polka dot guy. dress. Oh man, that's funny. Come on. <laughs> Not, uh, good favorite, yard art, hard to beat. Top three favorite yard art. <laughs> oh, Josh, go. Oh well, it's, it's the lady with the uh, lady yeah. with the uh, polka dot yeah. dress. Looks ma'am, like, ma'am. You... <laughs> oh, it catches me every that's, time. Uh, Gotta pink, go with the garden globe. A, a pink flamingo is always funny because they're usually where flamingos are not. That's yeah. right. So uh, what the hell? How's that? Get, how'd that get here? A gnome? How about a gnome? No? Nah. You don't like a garden globe? I do like the glowy ball. That the, yeah. You oh. remember, remember when the uh, extraterrestrials 
came down and told us to put those in our front yard, Tom. Oh, the orbs? Yes. Uh, yeah, they told the most Garden intelligent lobes. intelligent uh, earthlings to put them I, in the I, I must not have counted. I, I thought that's where the swingers lived. That's what I was always I told. I've never heard of this. I, oh. I did know that. What was the thing that's we had That's what about? you heard? Yeah. Really? <laughs> I've heard that, too. I did. Yeah. No kidding? Yes, I heard that. What yeah. was the story we had last year about um, some celebrity... I think it was um, a pretty good actor too. Was give me a hint. Uh, his father's a fa- his father's married to Barbara Streisand. What's that guy's name? Oh, oh Josh, Josh, Josh Brolin. 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 Yeah. Brolin. Wasn't Josh? Didn't Josh Brolin read something about getting that your perineum doesn't get enough sun? Oh, he tried to sun. Yeah. Oh so yeah, he tried sunning that. it and had a had a terrible. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, oh, here it is. Here it is. Burn, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Google. An internet fad has claimed its latest victim, according to Slate. Actor Josh Brolin says he got a painful sunburn after trying what is called perineum sunning. Yeah, remember that yoga guy that we had the picture of and he was spread eagled with so his... So trying to tan your taint. Yeah. Yes, it, here's, here's what it says. According to... Oh, so, so right away, I hate this person. Her name is Metaphysical Megan. Oh, oh God. Wow. Now, now, let's not judge. Yes, let's not judge. How would you like trying to do the right thing around her, huh? Oh, Jeez. She's got to be ruining some man or woman's oh, life. Oh, she my is. goodness. Um, she says it involves exposing your genitals and perineum to the sun. Um, she has touted numerous benefits of the practice, hmm. such as b- better sleep, increased cre- creativity, and energy surges. It's hard to sleep <laughs> when your sack is <laughs> a light, I would say. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, Josh Brolin, who's a great actor, yeah, he uh, he said uh, it left his. Uh, I'm, I'll, I'll re- let me read this verbatim. Okay, Brolin said it left his anus crazy burned. His anus. Oh gosh. Oh uh, wow. wow. How do you now let's let's go to the <laughs> let's go to the bright side of this. An actual physician, a scientist, a dermatologist by the name of Dr. Jeremy Fenton said there is some evidence to suggest that the genitals may be more susceptible to skin cancer than other areas of the body. Ah oh, boy. He added a skin cancer developing this area may be more difficult to detect because people don't regularly view this area on themselves. Hmm. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah, I don't take a look. Do you take a look? Do you ever do a little house cleaning? No. Like what you, once a month, get you the like mirror a, out? a series you know I mean. of mirrors and uh, a yeah, right. light. Sure, yeah. You got to make sure everything's or, okay. But yeah, a lot of people, most people just wait until they have a, you know, an itch that's or something. That's right. Got to be proactive. That's right. Well, there's not one of us, there's not one of us that can bend over far enough to actually see it. You're using a mirror or your phone. Yeah, I usually well, yeah. Have to, I have I, to take the closet door off of a hotel room and uh, yeah. stand <laughs> over it. I use uh, I use that SPF uh, ninety co- copper taint. <laughs> copper taint, yes. Oh. Yeah. You've seen the commercial where the the dog is pulling the jock Hold strap off. Of, <laughs> wait a minute, I. Wow. Okay. Metaphysical. What was her name? Megan. Megan. Or Megan something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, the phrase where the sun don't shine is there for a reason. Yeah, maybe. Uh, this should. article goes on to say, do not do this. No. It's very dangerous. So. That's what happens when you have to listen to Barbara Streisand all day. Yeah. Well, this is this, this is, is the sun. Oh, uh, nothing? Are you kidding that me? Well, What's the sun? Yeah. Not the fun. Sun and uh, no, yeah. no, we're all big fans, Reno. You take it. Back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a vacuum. Hey, going down to Stony End, my friend. <laughs> Stony End. <laughs> it's a great song. Laura Nero tune. Uh, Barbara. Never does, heard it. She does a great uh, job. You, you You're not, kidding not me? Missed a thing. No. Oh God, it's a wonderful song. She no. can sing like crazy. I, I recently we... saw a young picture of her. She, I didn't know she was hot. Yeah, back in yeah. back, she and apparently a friend of ours uh, worked for her and said she's hilarious. She's really funny. Well, that's oh, good. Nice Barbara know. Streisand. Yeah. When was she hot? I yeah, don't, gentle. I, I don't know, but the, <laughs> yeah. the picture I saw, she looked really. Were really? curly hair that not in that era? It was straight. Star is Born era. Mm. Yeah, she looked like she worked at a roller skating rink. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah remember shorts. when she had the big? Yeah. I'm sure she's too busy right now in her private jet somewhere to comment on your idiotic <laughs> point of view. You're worried about. Upsetting Barbara No, I think she's yeah, no <laughs> kidding, man. You wakes think up you upset. might have a chance to have dinner with her. Yeah, That's not at all. She I'm just saying it's someone who actually knows her was saying how funny she I was. I don't oh, care. I'm... Speaking of celebrities, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Kanye West has announced he's running for president this year. You know, there on... was a time when I would have started laughing, but not anymore. On Independence Day, <laughs> West tweeted, 
quote, we must now realize the promise of America by trusting God, unifying our vision, and building our future. I am running for president of the United States. Okay, you know, now, can you imagine included- Jackie Kennedy in a sex tape? <laughs> what would that sound like, Chick? <laughs> well, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, my goodness. Can ye? Oh. <laughs> See, you pronounce it wrong. His See? tweet included the hashtag 2020 vision. The announcement received mixed reactions from social media users, but billionaire Elon Musk responded to West's tweet saying, Vice President. You have my full support, and that's what the rumor is that Elon uh-huh. may be as vice president. Not clear whether West is even eligible to appear on the presidential ballot at this stage. I was going to say. After yeah. missing the filing date for independent candidates in many key states, including Indiana, Maine, New York, North Carolina, Texas, and New Mexico. However, filing dates for other states have yet passed. So he could, I guess, in some states. I think it's safe to assume that I don't think Kanye knows how it works. <laughs> I think you're probably right. <laughs> other than saying I'm running for president. Okay, well, uh, it's time to squeeze in some history real quick. Oh, you know whose birthday it is today? Right now for today in history. Doing your own echo there, Leonard? History. Oh. Dummy. Dummy. Uh, Dummy. Who's, whose Dummy. birthday is it? It's <laughs> the Dalai Lama's birthday today is 85. Hello. Dalai. He's got that going for him. Well, now, does he get replaced? Dalai. When he dies, is there a new Dalai Lama? Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm-hmm. And it's usually a young boy. Yep, they yeah, they already the have him picked out. They put the bowl oh, they do. And stuff. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, so he's, he's got that, he, he's sitting there with he's waiting. Prince Charles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any day now, I got my king underwear all set. <laughs> uh, king size bed. Happy birthday, Dalai Happy Lama. birthday, uh, well, not anymore. Uh, Frida Kahlo. Oh. oh, yeah. Famous uh, artist. Brown. Yes, the Eugene Levy of yeah. uh, Lady... Uh, <laughs> Worse. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see, who else of interest here? Oh, Bill Haley from the... Comets? Yeah, they, Wait, what's your problem with Bill Haley? You st- I still cannot believe you don't respect that song a little Rock bit. Rock around the yeah, clock. Great right? for what it started. Never yeah. liked it, really. Um, I still think it holds You up. know what? I don't like Barbara Streisand. What do you think of that? Huh? <laughs> How about you and you in bed with Barbara Streisand? You've got the hots for Barbara Streisand. Uh, Happy birthday going out to the great actor Ned Beatty. Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh, he's great. Terrific actor. Many, many. One, two, three o'clock. Woo! Holds up. Holds up. Holds up. Fresh is today's headlines. Twelve o'clock. Here comes. We're going to rock. Yep. Hey, could you make this a little whiter? No, it's good. Listen to that drum, man. Yeah. Brings back That's happy good. days. Yeah. Man, that rocks. Yeah. Good stuff. No, it doesn't. Happy birthday, Burt Ward. We just saw Burt Ward at a, one of those events, uh, Josh and I. Remember he, of course, you know who Burt Ward is? Sure. I have no idea. Oh. Is he Robin from Batman? Robin. Yes, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Apparently, huh. he and Adam West, they lived. Oh, boy. Yeah. They, 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 they enjoyed the ladies. They almost needed two penises. <laughs> <laughs> they had a glut. It, it yes, was. Uh, right. Uh, it yeah. was hot. They got man. kicked out of an orgy. You ever yeah. hear that story? Yes. They wanted to wear, yeah. yeah, they wanted to wear their costumes. They said, no, get out of here. It was Adam West, Burt Ward. Yeah. Uh, the the Holy Eiffel Tower. The commissioner that. and O'Hara, they were all there. <laughs> Burgess <laughs> Meredith. Burgess <laughs> Meredith. <laughs> Go ahead. He was working on his Rocky voice. Yeah, the, Rid- the Riddler wouldn't stop doing impressions. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Gorshin, you want to... Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Gorshin, yeah, cut it out. Uh, let's... Uh, let's uh, the daring no Let's say goodbye to our friends. Uh, goodbye uh, to Reno. Hope to see you again soon, Reno. Yeah, have a great week, you guys. Bye, Reno. 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 Bye, y'all. Watch the entire show live or on demand with the Bob and Tom VIP All Access Pass. Listen live with the Bob and Tom app and make sure to visit BobandTomStore.com. Tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.